guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Get Together. And here we are back with London and Nico. They're just out on their patio having some breakfast together that Nico made. He really wants to have a discussion with her about, um, about having a baby and them trying again. And for some reason it has him at work, but he's clearly here. So I'm not sure what that's about, but she wants to flirt with him. So I'm just going to have her talk about her dreams. Maybe she's going to discuss some things like, you know, the things that I really want to do in life. And I'm going to have him, he's super confident right now. So I'm going to tell him a dramatic story, compliment her parents, compliment her outfit, um, tell an unbelievable story, things of that nature. I'm just going to have them kind of interact with each other. He does have a game today, so he's not going to be here um all day long. He's only going to be here till about 3 o'clock. And why didn't you tell me he was already in a relationship? Oh, what? Why didn't you tell me he was already in a relationship? Oh, my gosh. Okay. This is going to be harder than I thought to break up <laughs> Travis and... um. Yeah, this is going to be harder than I thought to break up Travis and... uh and 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 uh yeah this is gonna be hard. travis i'm sorry travis and samantha I, I i this is interesting because i've never okay okay what you were fine what is going on i've never seen these types of interactions like i'm getting all this new stuff lately and i don't know so i don't think oh she's not very happy with me right now so um uh, yeah, he must be acting super duper committed at this point. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. So does that do anything to our relationship? I guess we're still pretty good friends. So it doesn't do too much to our relationship. Um, man, okay, so wow. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, I didn't realize he was that type of loyal sim. Like he is totally blowing my mind right now. So he was sad he, just last night or yesterday rather about being caught cheating. And now he's like totally turning down unless Jasmine isn't the one. Maybe Jasmine isn't the one for, for this uh, endeavor here. I don't know. Not Jasmine. Um, Indigo. Sorry. Maybe Indigo is not the one for this little endeavor. I don't, I don't know. That'll be interesting though, to say the least, because I really want to know like, I don't, I don't know how we should handle this at this point. I don't know. Okay, so back to the game plan here. Um, Nico is probably like, I'm just going to try to chat with you, and you're totally like texting. Uh, really quickly, I'm just going to send Teresa a text and tell her maybe we need to go to plan B. So let's send Teresa a text. Um, here we go. I'm going to send her a text and then say maybe we should go to plan B. Also send Kaylee a text and say, you know, the indigo thing is not working out. Send Victoria a text. It's not working out, guys. We need to come up with a plan B. Um, Nico. <laughs> Poor Nico. He's like, I'm having a serious conversation with her and she's texting. She's totally not concerned about him. I'm going to have him put this stuff. Thank you, sweetie. I'm going to have him put this stuff away and then uh, probably have him go for a jog. Uh, it's so weird that it's saying that he's at work and he's clearly... Right here, one of those lovely glitches here. Um, and then he's going to have to sit down just to go put the plate up, which is kind of crazy. And then, I don't know, she should probably... Um, oh, we got 11 simoleons from being a housewife. So she wants to meet someone new. And she also wants to make a drink. So I'm going to have her go over here really quickly and make a drink. Let's make uh, a pros and pop. Okay, <laughs> don't know what that is, but let's go check it out. Um, oh, it's an $80 drink. Seriously, did I not pay attention to the um, price of said drink? What drink costs $80? I have no idea, and it's taking her forever to make it. Girl, if you don't make this drink and drink it, I want to see what an $80 drink looks like. Why is it taking her so long? All right, he should be jogging right now. Then I'm going to have him come over here and do a couple laps. He's just going to work out really quickly. Ooh, this is dirty. Okay, girl, why is it taking you so long? Okay, there we go. There is a pros and pop. All right, well, let's drink it up. See what this tastes like. And then we're going to clean this bar up really quickly. Um, I'm surprised these are still on. Do you like it? Is it good? I don't know. Then we're going to go clean out this spoiled food. Um, I wonder if it's going to get both the refrigerators. Clean out the spoiled food. Is there anything over here? Okay, nope. 
Uh, really quickly, I'm just going to do a quick once over on the house and see if it needs to be cleaned. And I think we're going to go meet up with Teresa and go see this second prospect she has for breaking up Travis and Samantha. I don't know if this is going to work. I think Travis is like being a really super duper stand up guy. And I'm a little weirded out by it to say the least, to be honest with you, because I just knew that he was going to be all for it. Unless Indigo was just not the one. And she might not have just not been the one. She might not have been. I don't know. I'm like I said, I'm like totally weirded out right now. <laughs> oh, and I guess I should send, should I, I don't even know. Can you send like a text to be like, I'm sorry, Indigo. I didn't even know he was seeing anybody either. But we totally do know that he was seeing somebody. So let's go on and travel. I'm going to grab Teresa and we're going to go over to the girl's house that she was talking about. Um, there is an opening in the groupies now. Um, so, because, uh, what you call it, dropped out. Elise dropped out in last time. So she couldn't handle the heat in the kitchen. So it is what it is. So we're going to go over. I think she lives in Windenburg and she lives in the, around the same area that Teresa does. Uh, this is her name, Camille. Uh... She's at Havisham House, but we'll go over to her house anyway. She'll probably show up once we get there. Um, I don't know what she's doing at Havisham. I don't even know what Havisham House is. What is that? Don't even know what that is. But we're going to go over here, and Nico might feel a little bit slighted about, you know, having a serious conversation with his wife, and she's texting and getting texts and worried about how she's going to throw. I mean, she's getting a little in over her head, and she's taking her focus away from her family, which is um, not what she wanted to do. So we're gonna go knock on this door. Um, oh, 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 Teresa's expecting. Oh, ask to fill the baby and ask the baby. Oh, and ask the due date. Oh, oh, ask the baby's due date. Look how cute. She's got a little baby bump. I kind of thought she was pregnant. The way she, oh, she's like, yeah, I'm pregnant. Oh, gosh, the pressure is on. Okay, so here is Camille. Uh, ooh, she is a fancy. Ooh, okay. All righty. Um, I'm digging her. I'm digging her. Let's go do a cheerful introduction to her. Uh, okay, she lives in humble abode, abode as well. Uh, she is super dressed up, to say the least. Oh, and Teresa's, oh, she's uncomfortable. Is she about to have the baby? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. How, I wonder how long she's been pregnant. We haven't seen her in a couple days. Last time we saw her, she was talking about babies and strollers and things of that nature. So, I don't know. Oh, what is that noise? Okay, so Camille is really pretty. She is a lot prettier than Indigo. Probably more um, so what... Um, Travis would be into maybe I'm gonna share ideas we're just gonna really get to know her brighten her day um, talk about cooking talk about dreams uh, tell a funny story uh, gossip propose a crazy scheme I don't know is would she be into that we definitely need to find out oh goodness is she having a baby Oh, I think she is. Look at her face. I think she's having the baby. Oh, wait, I can't see her. I think she's having the baby, guys. I should totally let her go. Is she leaving? Oh, yeah, I think she is leaving. <laughs> oh, Alyssa's here. Oh, no, Alyssa's not here. Okay. I think she's I think she's having the baby, guys. I've seen this look before. <laughs> Many times before. I wish I could just exit her from the um, conversation, but I can't. So, um, I am going to... Let's get to know her. I'm going to... Uh, ask her, discuss interest right now. Uh, compliment her outfit. And we're also going to ask about her day. Um, flatter her. We're going to get to know her as well. I like her. I do. Get to know her. Oh, she's very uncomfortable. Girl, if you don't go use the bathroom. Wait, what, what in the world? Okay, we just, the conversation just stopped all of a sudden. I'm not sure what is going on. Um, hugger, get to know, uh, tell a funny story. Talk about drink making. She's ambitious. Okay. Uh, discuss interest. 
I'm going to go ahead and propose a crazy scheme to her. You know, we don't know her yet, but I'm just going to propose this crazy scheme anyway. I should ask her if she's single. Let's do that really quickly. I'm going to ask her if she's single. And then, you know what? Before I even introduce her to the group, because I really might not have to add her to the group, I might can just say, do you know? I think I will. I think I'm just going to ask her if she knows. I mean, the only reason why I would do the group situation really is because, oh, what is wrong with Penelope? Girl, you're walking around barefoot. Aw. I wonder what's going on with her. Okay. All right. I know, Tom. The groupies are falling left and right, y'all, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, London didn't even realize it, but she is, they're winning right now, and they don't even know it. So I'm going to tell her an insider story. Um, she wants to start a club gathering. Of course she does. Um, we're going to flatter her some more. And then I'm going to go on and let's talk up. I'm going to talk about other Sims. I'm going to ask her about, actually, no, no, no. Let's just go on and, and hook her up with, you know, I think you should meet Travis. Oh, ooh, let's go on this side. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go on. And, okay. Okay. No, you don't want to do that. Okay. Come here. I'm going to hook her up with. Travis here <laughs> and see what she says. We're going to talk of Travis. I don't know if Travis lets her go to Travis sounds like a catch girl. He is. Oh, is she about to text him and call him right now? Oh, she's doing it right now. I love it. Oh, she is like all about her business. I think she is. I think she's like totally trying to hook up with Travis right now. I love it. <laughs> she's probably like, girl, give me his number. I'm about to call him right now. <laughs> Love it. All righty. So we're just going to finish talking to her for a little bit. And hopefully we plant that seed. Uh, maybe we can talk him up a little bit too. I'm going to talk him up. I'm going to talk him up a little bit. Um, I'm going to say, girl, Travis is a, so cute. He is a football player. He works with my husband. I think you guys would make a cute couple. And um, let's see. Let's see how it goes. Travis is cute. Okay, sure, Travis. Alrighty. We'll, we'll see. Oh, wow. I'd love to get to know him. Well, you should. You should, girl. I'm going to give her a hug and I'm going to share an um, uh, inside joke with her really quickly. Aw. So we got a new friend. Love it. And I have no idea. Oh, okay. Is she leaving? Are you leaving, girl? I don't know where she went. She kept waving. Like, I think she's leaving. I think she's totally about to have a baby. So we're going to have to make her a thing of cookies and go visit her later on. <laughs> I think she's going to have the baby. Um, Nico's over here shirtless. I'm not sure. They're at the game right now. We should totally be somewhere watching the game. That would be nice. Wouldn't that be nice? I guess. Um, so, yeah, you know what? Let's go on and... Oh, that's nice. She wants to take a picture again. You know what? Let's in real life take a picture with her. She might end up being the one. <laughs> I am feeling a little bit, okay, I'm feeling a little bit overly, not even be worth, okay, what in the world? Son, seriously, why every time I go to church? Alrighty, so she is really pretty. I'm almost thinking she is a smidget prettier than Samantha. Just a smidget, just a smidget, Miss Camille. Um, She, you know, she, uh... Cloud gaze with a little. Okay, I'm going to really quickly send a happy text to Alyssa just to check on her. Me and her are like such good friends right now. And, um, you know, I still get worried about her. We might could look for her somebody to hook up with. Ooh, Gage. Gage down here in the corner. <laughs> I don't know how. How does she know Gage? I don't even know. But um, maybe I could. Uh-oh. Okay, let's get it. All right, sure. Let's go. I agree, London. Let's go out. Okay, we're going to go meet her for coffee really quickly. I'm going to tell her everything that's going on, and we're just going to wait. Since I know now if I talk up a sim and, and hook up with a sim, eventually they'll do it on their own. That's all I need to know at this point. It's on. That's all I need to know. It's on. <laughs> so we're going to definitely, definitely do that. We're going to, um, yeah, I like this. I like this. Now, if this doesn't work at this point, I'm not sure how to get through to Samantha the damage that the group is doing and all of the bad things that they represent. I don't know how to get to 
through to her at this point. If I can't get this to work, I really don't. I really don't know what to do. So we are here with Alyssa. She's in this doggone outfit again. Oh, Alyssa, Alyssa, Alyssa. I am going to brighten her day. Um, ask about her favorite author. Uh, reveal a deep secret. I'm going to tell her about what's going on. I just met Camille and she is gorgeous. I think she's going to be the one. I hope, I hope, I hope. I'm waiting on her to text me and let me know whether she met um, met him or not. Met met Travis. I don't know. Samantha's probably like, girl, I'm going to show her a photo. Show her a photo of her. You got to see her. She is gorgeous. <laughs> she's probably going to be like, yeah, you know. <laughs> I mean, really hurt. They kind of look like each other, really. I'm going to ask her about her day. Oh, now it's telling me my keyboard. Really? Just the other day, my mouse batteries were low. Now my keyboard batteries are low. You, ju you just won't stop. Um, I'm a compliment. Oh, she's showing her the pictures. Like, look, look at her. Look, I'm telling you, she is gorgeous. She's like, oh, girl, yeah. That's, if that doesn't get it, <laughs> I don't know what will. Uh, let's hug her. I, we probably know everything we need to know about Samantha. I mean, Alyssa, at this point, I think. Let's see. I want a Hoover. Oh, yeah, we know everything about Alyssa right now. Um, so we could become best friends. As a matter of fact, I think we are. I think we're going to go on and become best friends. Let's go on and do that because really Alyssa has been here with us from jump. Like she really has. Um, so she's going to say, girl, you know, we have been best friends for forever. I think we should just go on and, and do the thing, you know. And we probably should go guy hunting. Oh. Gage, I don't I don't like Gage, to be honest with you, though. Uh-oh. I'm not a fan of, he's very burly looking. And he looks like he's a lot older than them. And he might not be because the balding hair might be giving him away a little bit. Other than that, I really don't see. Oh, so they are best friends. Yay. Um, I don't see anybody on her list that she could hook her up with. Oh, did she leave? Wow. So we became best friends and she totally ditched me. Oh, there she is. Okay. I'm like, what is that about? Ooh, we should go grab a free croissant. Let's go grab a free croissant. Let's go grab... Oh, never mind. Too late. All right. I'm going to go have her order um, some food. Let's go upon a chocolate. And then let's also grab a drink um, for here. Let's grab a cafe latte. Um, now, Kellen... Okay, we okay. How do we know Kellen Shockley and how's he our friend? Um, huh, maybe we should kind of hook her up with somebody. I don't know. Is anybody here that we could hook her up with? Okay, here's that gauge guy right here. Um, I don't know, he's very odd looking to me to say the least. Uh, let's get this down real quick so I can look at him. Um, now this guy, like, I'm all trying to hook. Trying to hook Alyssa up with somebody really quickly. She needs a rebound guy. That's what friends are for, right? Now this guy right here, Xavier Souza. Uh, I mean, Gage isn't ugly. He's just got the balding thing going on. Maybe he should just shave it all off. You know what? If I had to pick between Gage and, what's his name? Xavier. Definitely not Bjorn Bjergerson. <laughs> Whatever his name is. I should totally, you know what? Okay, I thought we knew him already. I'm going to, oh gosh. Sorry, I'm going to give him a cheerful introduction. I'm going to go on and and introduce him to Alyssa. I am. I'm going to introduce him to Alyssa. If anything, if they can just make friends and maybe go out on one or two dates or whatever. You know, Alyssa needs, I don't know, he's kind of weird looking. I don't know. Okay, can you please go introduce yourself to him quickly? I heard you became friends with Camille. You know Camille, Raina, seriously? How do you know Camille? She just got into town. All right, Raina, why are you even texting me, girl? Like, seriously, I didn't even know we knew each other. When did we start knowing each other again? <laughs> like, that's crazy. All right, well, it seems like the groupies know everybody in town. Um, okay, so she is finally introducing herself, hopefully, to Gage. Now, let's hurry up and ask him. I'm going to ask him. I'm going to talk up. Let's talk up Alyssa really quickly. Um, where did she go? Where is Alyssa? Alyssa, I'm going to talk her up and, um, oh no, don't go nowhere, Gage. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. All right. So he's like party time, really? And then I'm going to go on and hook him up with, oh, Alyssa's right there. <laughs> I thought she had left maybe. I was like, let me hurry up and do this before he, she leaves. Um, 
She is like playing all sorts of matchmaker and hookup and everything. He's like, okay, well, let's see what he says. Well, this sounds like a catch. She is a catch, my dude. She just got five kids. That's it. <laughs> that's all. That's all that's going on with her right now. Let's see what she thinks. I mean, she kind of probably needs somebody. Hopefully, Gage is like, let's see. Does she take it? <gasps> oh, yay. Alyssa has like a little love interest now. <gasps> yay. They're going out. Awesome. Okay, Addison Medina is actually... Oh, no. Never mind. Okay, so Gage, I'm going to hop in and give him a makeover at another time. Not right now, but I am going to hop in and give him a makeover. Um, him and Alyssa just told it. Oh, they hit it off. I love it. I love it. I love it. So um, I'm going to pause really quickly, and I'll be right back. And we are back, and Miss London here is over here just watching a movie about diamonds or something like that eating her some popcorn i just bought her a popcorn machine so she's just kind of hanging out by herself nico should be home uh actually why isn't nico home yet he should be home i don't know why he gets oh is he here um okay i don't know what is going on with nico he's like totally glitching um, I'm going to have him grab a serving. I was thinking like he should be home any second so he can come watch the movie with her. Um, he can go watch the current movie. So I'm going to have them chill out on the couch for a little bit. Just kind of hang out with each other. And, um, you know, he's trying to do the right thing. He hasn't seen Brittany. He's spoken on the phone with her, of course. But and besides seeing her at the, uh, the popcorn is hot. Oh, wow. Okay. He's loving the movie so far. Uh, what does he want to do with... He wants to chat with London when he's done, it looks like. I really wish I could get his whims, though, because he wanted to try for a baby. I wanted to to take care of that. But, um, yeah, it's not, I don't understand what's going on. This is just not working out for us really quickly. I don't know. So they're just sitting there chatting and watching the movie. Oh, no. <laughs> this is funny to me, though. Um, I want to compliment his appearance. He's coming in here looking all snazzy. Oh, is the movie over? Oh, she just wanted to sit. Okay, she wanted to put her popcorn up. These bowls are kind of cool. Oh, she likes the movie. <laughs> Look, he, oh, he just told her, shh. Oh, my goodness. He used to, he just was like, shh. <laughs> now she's talking about the trash. Like, did you take the trash out? So, really quickly, we could talk about the movie. So, let's, um, how do you talk about the movie? I thought you could talk about the movie after the movie. Oh, okay. He's what is the no? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Um, okay, I'm gonna ask a question about the movie's plot. That's what I wanted to do. Enthused about the movie. Did you like the movie? Let's see what he says about it. Uh, what do you think the movie was about? Let's discuss this action scene. I haven't had a chance really to play around with the movie stuff uh, as much as I would like to. Let's chat about the actors. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with Nico right now. Like I said, it says he's at work, so that's just really odd to me. But anyway, I'm going to have her uh, clean up this stuff really quickly. And we're going to be done with that. And I don't know if I should let them try for another baby or just... I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I really don't. But what I'm going to do is let them get some rest, and I will see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, it is morning time and pretty early in the morning. So London and Nico had a very early night after the movie. Kind of went to bed and got a little woohoo in because they both were in the mood. And yeah, now she's over here doing yoga. And Mr. Nico, even though it says he's at work, he is out currently. Well, he was jogging. Um, of course, now I can't see where he's at. I guess I'll have him come over here and do the Hill Country Challenge. Let's turn this off because that's just on. Our neighbors are going to be mad at us. <laughs> like the radio is always on, but nobody's down there listening to it. But she's just enjoying her little morning yoga. Still trying to wait around and see what's going on with, uh, with, uh, what's her name? Oh gosh, I forgot her name. Oh, what is that? <gasps> what is the growling? Oh, not, not you. No wonder. Um, London here. Uh, we want Camille. I want to meet up with Camille at some point today. And see how it went with um, 
with uh, Travis, if she's got a chance to meet him or not. She probably hasn't had a chance to meet him. And, of course, I don't know if it's a situation where I should invite I don't know. I don't know. She's like, she's, she's trying to put the feelers out there, but so far there have been no bites. She hasn't really entertained the conversation that her, that Nico and her had about having a, trying for another baby. And Nico, he's, he's trying to be patient, but I think at this point he's getting a little bit, um, nerved by it because he know he notices that London's focus is really on this club stuff, you know, trying to sabotage and, you know, the the housewife, she spends way more time outside the house with the different clubs than she does in a relationship. And so he's trying to do the right thing, but I'm sure he's tempted. Um, and then, of course, because he hasn't been really hanging out with Brittany, Brittany has kind of kind of moved on. I mean, she's still very interested in him, and they text and chat from time to time. But for the most part, she is kind of moved on um, with Don a little bit. Um Don Lothario, and I think word is getting back to him, and he's getting a little bit worried about that. So I I don't know. He's he's like a focus. He's focused and everything, but you know, I guess it is what it is. So we are definitely going to. Oh goodness, what's wrong? What's going on? Oh my gosh, what's the problem? Trying to see her good. She looks all dumpy and frumpy, like she's not happy right now. So what I'm going to do is probably go on and end this part here. Uh, this episode was a little uneventful. Oh, whoa, Nico, seriously, dude? Oh, I am impressed. <laughs> I wish I could do that in real life. Nope, not happening. Not happening over here. Anyway, so I'm going to go on and end this part here, and we will definitely see you guys next time. Um, I need to get... In the near future, Samantha and Travis need to go in and move in their new house before somebody else moves in there. They put an offer in on it. We need to check and see what's going on with that. And then, of course, we need to check up and follow up with Camille and see if she has had any romantic success with um, with um, Travis. Golly, I forgot to say just that quick. And then we kind of need to check on Alyssa and her newfound relationship with Gage. We got so much stuff going on. And then we also need to check on Teresa. Actually, you know, we should do that before we leave. We should totally go check on Teresa. Um, I'm going to have her go down here and make some food to bring to the family. Let's see. I'm going to have her bake. Uh, oh, okay. She has more things she could bake now. Let's do uh, ooh, a quiche. Yes. Let's do a quiche. She could do a carrot. Carrot cake is my favorite. We're going to do a carrot cake and really quickly go bring it over to... Um, Victoria and um, hopefully she's home. I don't know that she works to be honest with you. Let's see really quickly because I don't even know if she works. Uh, she might work and then in that case if she does that will suck because she probably won't be at home. Victoria, okay. Victoria careers unknown. I don't know if she works or not. She might be a housewife. Um, but this is cool. She can make a carrot cake. Like in real life carrot cake is one of my favorite desserts like in real life. Like, I'm so serious. Um, of course, she's making a mess as she's doing it. Um, we're going to clean that up when she's done. Nico, I really don't know what's going on with him. This whole little thing right here is bothering me, but uh, it is what it is. I always say that. <gasps> Let's check out that carrot cake, girl. Ooh. Uh, okay, it looks burnt. <laughs> we're going to put it in the inventory. Oh, we could have decorated it. Let's decorate it really quickly. I'm going to decorate it and then put it in the inventory. Let's see what that looks like. It looks like she burnt it, though, to be honest with you. It's not very attractive looking. It's not an attractive cake, so we can't take it with us? Okay, we couldn't decorate it. All right, so really quickly, let's travel and go. Oh, no, not Victoria. We're supposed to go to Teresa's house. I know for sure Teresa is uh, unemployed. She is definitely a housewife. Um, I'm contemplating if things don't work with... Camille and um, Travis. I'm contemplating trying one more time with another sim. Uh, if not, uh, does she have the? I'm thinking that she probably had the baby, but I don't see the little bottle thingy, Majiga. I don't see it. Not sure what that's about. Are those cookies delicious? He's watching me play like, like I'm like it's a movie. Is it a movie? <laughs> He's so busy chewing. He's eating Teddy Grahams right now. Teddy Grahams are super duper delicious. 
Are you delicious? Yeah? No? Yeah? No? Yeah? Yeah? No? Yeah? No? Uh, I'm probably trying to jam pack too much into this episode, but I do want to see if she had the baby, and that way we could kind of focus on some other things. Uh, so, oh no, she is still very much pregnant. I could have swore she had the baby. All right, so, oh, whoa. Okay, awkward. Uh, let's knock on the door. I just assumed she had the baby, but I will knock on the door. We're just going to deliver the cake anyway, because uh, I'm sure she's about to pop. I'm almost positive she's about to pop. And you know, it's funny because this is not even affecting, it's not even affecting her. Like everybody's having babies and people are moving on. And where is their kitchen? Okay, we're going to totally go put this cake. And she's hungry too, so this is perfect. We're going to put this old weird looking cake on their counter. And we're going to, can I decorate it now? And then I'm going to, does it looks, it actually looks, oh no, it's still burnt looking. But I'll say it actually looks better. I'm going to call to meal. So I still couldn't decorate it. I don't know why it won't let me decorate it. Why give me the option to decorate it if it's not going to decorate it? Buy a massage table? Really? She has like the weirdest things. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, she's going to hang out at Teresa's for a little bit. Her and Teresa can chat and catch up. We could call Camille, I guess, over here. I'm going to have... Why you didn't grab a piece, darling? He's like, carrot cake? Really? You brought carrot cake over here? I did. I bought carrot cake over here. <laughs> And we're going to sit here and chat with them for a little bit. Maybe they could convince her that having a baby is a good idea. I don't know. And for some reason, the carrot cake is hot. Huh, Jose? It's hot, Teresa. I, I don't get it. Um, but we're going to, I guess we can ask about the baby. Ask about baby's due date. Hopefully it's any time now. Brighten her day. Tell a joke about aliens. Ooh, I should totally offer some mental relaxation tips. That'll be a great idea. Because when she has that baby, she's going to need some mental relaxation. Why did we move? Why did we move? I don't know why we moved. Um, but mental relaxation tips would totally come in handy. Because <laughs> when you have the baby, look, she's telling her joke right now. All right, guys, I'm going to end this part. Next time I see you guys, I will be probably in somebody else's file. She's stinky. That's gross. All right, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.